I'm from Bremerton, Washington, and I identify as somewhere like just queer, basically, um, just something like pansexual or bisexual. Hi, my name is Blake Marola. I'm a freshman political science major at the University of California, Santa Barbara. I am Annika Slazuski. I don't know if I can give my full name. Why not? My parents always told me, you know, being gay is okay, you know, being straight is okay, but bisexuals, they don't exist. You're one or the other. And I was like, okay, then, you know, thinking to myself, you know, with all these closeted feelings, like, what does that mean for me? What am I then? I had my first relationship with, um, my ex-girlfriend Lucy, um, and we dated for a very long time, a year and a half. Um, very serious relationship. And during that time, I kind of started realizing, um, struggling with the fact that I might be bisexual. I was kind of curious. Um, for me, it mostly, um, my erasure has mostly happened in people thinking I am mostly gay or mostly lesbian, and they kind of treat it like I'm both hetero and homosexual. Um, they never really treat my sexuality as like a one actual thing. So when I was, you know, 13 or 14, I'd have a, I'd had a couple, you know, little things with, you know, these girlfriends before and I thought of that courage and I, you know, went to my mom all teary eyed and my parents and I just said like, I think I like girls, you know, and they laughed. You know, towards the end of our relationship, when, actually when we broke up, um, I became more uh, open with it to other people. I, I started coming out to some of my friends. People would kind of take my openness about that as me kind of segueing into telling people that I was gay and that eventually I was gonna just completely come out as gay because, you know, a man can't just, can't have dated a girl and then come out as bisexual. That means that was a cover up and that he wasn't actually in the relationship because he felt something for that person. It's because he was just trying to cover up his true sexuality, which is homosexuality. I'll say something like, oh, that guy's cute or that girl's cute. And whenever it's like a dude, people are like, oh, you're, you're straight today. Even when I'm dating a female, they don't ask, oh, how's blah, blah, blah doing? They don't ask me those types of questions, but if it's a guy, they're overly excited. They ask me, you know, how it's going all the time, bring him over. And I think my experience with bio erasure has mainly been that people assume things based on stereotypes, and those stereotypes usually center around a, a sexuality binary, I guess, if you will, that people can either be at least mainly attracted to women or mainly attracted to men, and you know, anything else, anything in between is confusion. The media portrays bisexuality, or like in movies and stuff, they portray it as kind of this transition, or kind of this period of time where this person who thought she was straight is actually a lesbian. You know, you, you never see someone who's just bisexual on TV. It's very rare, and that sucks. That those feelings were just experimentation, but, you know, it can't be brought down to that. Sexuality doesn't stay just one thing forever. It, that's just impossible. People, they need to assume things. They, they tell me, that my relationship with my ex wasn't real because they think I'm gay and that's just, that's, you know, offensive, demoralizing, and just false. Basically, bisexuals have the worst mental health on, in like, you know, in that kind of spectrum or whatever. Um, that's sad. Basically, like, I constantly am having identity problems, you know, I am constantly like, you know, there's no point in labels, but then also I'm kind of like, I want a label so I know how to describe myself to people. Um, like, you know, haha, ha, yeah, but like Annika's like 90% gay and then just like 10% straight. And you know, we're all like, ha ha ha. But then I was like, it's not how it is. It's not how it is. <laughs> I don't know.